Something that cannot be explained unless you've been to the bridge itself is the impact that it has on everyone who crosses it, whether they're walking or driving, or just standing around looking at it from a distance. It is an extraordinary work of art that impacts everyone who comes to see it. And we, whether it was 37 years ago or just a few hours ago, being out on that bridge affects you in extraordinary ways. This is the story of playing the Golden Gate Bridge as a musical instrument. It all started with a work of art by David Wills in 1975. Arnie and Michael want to go out on the bridge and see what it sounds like, hear what it sounds like. I think it's a great idea. An amazing sound issues and is recorded onto the cassette recorder. One more. And we're just ecstatic because the this sound of the cable is extraordinary. And about this time, two highway patrol cars pull up, blocking the north lanes. Fellows jump out of the cars with guns drawn and approach us yelling, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? I mean, three guys in the middle of the night, wires, boxes. As the 80s unfolded, John Lewis and Paul and I decided to create the San Francisco Synthesizer Ensemble. We realized that the Golden Gate Bridge's 50th anniversary was coming up. And by that time, sampler keyboards had been invented and I got the idea that we could take the sounds that we had captured 12 years earlier and put them inside a keyboard and actually begin to play the Golden Gate Bridge as a musical instrument. So we set about creating the Golden Gate Bridge Anniversary Suite. There was a hiatus of almost 25 years before Paul de Benedictus came to me and said, hey, I think we can do something for the 75th anniversary, which is coming up in 2012. I agreed, and we moved forward from there. I thought of re-recording the bridge in high quality digital and using the latest tools like Pro Tools, Celemony, Melodyne for tuning the samples and a software sampler to create a new piece of music. So this took us to the next step of creating the 75th anniversary music by the San Francisco Synthesizer Ensemble with the duo of Doug and myself. While we were making the new music for the 75th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge, we realized, why not let everyone play the bridge? And we decided to make an iPhone and iPad app just for that, called Play the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm thinking about this great title that Doug came up with, A Day in the Life of the Golden Gate Bridge. And the way the music was coming together, it sounded like a soundtrack. And I realized, why don't we do a movie and get my son Julian de Benedictus to direct and edit the movie to the music. We trusted in Julian's artistry as an editor and his understanding of the music that we had created. We trusted him to be able to put together a real art piece depicting the feelings and the magnificence of the Golden Gate Bridge. 